Hey channel, welcome back. I'm gonna do something on this bike that I've never done. Ride it at night. That's right, taking it out for a ride at night. I've had this bike for seven months now and I don't even know what the headlight looks like at night. So I thought I'd give it a try. See how this Starship looks at night. And I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. Headlights nice and bright. Can tell my tail light modulator is working every time I touch the brake. I can see it in the rearview mirrors. The instrument cluster is lit up appropriately, not blinding. Good colors, easily readable. I gotta tell you though, I don't much care for riding at night. It's hard enough for people to see you during the daytime. That's why I don't do much of it. But, because I haven't done any of it, I decided to go out tonight and see what it looks like. Not to mention, if you've been following Texas lately, it's a hundred and five degrees during the day. You melt on this bike. So this is the best time of day <laughs> to ride. Breeze is relatively cool at, at speed. Make sure that windshield is down all the way. see that the instrument clusters, the buttons on the handlebars are lit up appropriately. Uh, the center console seems to be lit, although it could stand to be a little brighter. Once again, I've got the GoPro uh, mounted on my chest instead of my helmet to reduce the weight on my helmet. Uh, and I did this, you know, a month or so ago and noticed that the microphone cord was dangling in front of <laughs> the camera most of the trip. So I tried to pack it away so it would not be doing that this time. Hopefully it doesn't blow loose. I don't know. I cannot look down. I cannot see it. But I've got it tucked away in my coat and behind the camera. So maybe that's working. Well, a rear nighttime vlog. What should we talk about? How about the ticking noise that the that some people have experienced with the Honda Goldwing? Have you experienced the engine ticking? I must be blessed. I've not heard one ounce of it, not even a whisper of a tick on this bike. Now, I only have 1,365 miles on it, so maybe uh, the tick is coming, <laughs> but so far so good. Have you experienced it? I know a lot of people have. It's, it's a thing. Turn your lights on, people. You 
know, some have theorized it was low oil, but then others say, no, that's not the case. I've got plenty of oil in it. A lot of mechanics, and I think even Honda has come out and said it's normal. I'm not sure I'm buying that it's normal. But anyway, I haven't had it myself. Did you guys see uh, Cruise Man's videos recently where he installed his new windshields from Panicle? He got a couple of them. One of them looked pretty nice, although I think I'm sold on the F4 when it's time for me to replace. But then the second one Panicle sent was gigantic. It was huge. It looked like a giant sail. All you need was a strong wind and you don't need an engine. <laughs> it was massive. place is busy for nighttime. Everybody watch me please. Of course I could have picked a better road. This is one of the busier roads through Frisco town I live in. Yeah I'm kind of digging this thing at night. It's lit up well. You can't see it, I don't believe, because of the angle of the camera, but my cow lights down there are just lighting up the ground around me. I like that. Headlight is illuminating the path in front of me very well. I like that. And even here at 9.40 at night in Texas, 89 degrees. All right, getting away from the traffic a little bit. Do you guys watch MC Ryder? He's another fellow North Texan MC Ryder. Go check out his channel if you don't know about him. I think most people know about him. The man's an encyclopedia of motorcycle training. Has done so much to further education and safety on motorcycles. Not to mention just a genuine nice guy. I have not met him in person. Looking forward to doing that someday. You just ran that red light. Tesla? Must be important. Anyway, looking forward to meeting him in person someday. Um, but I've watched a lot of his videos, and they're always educational and spot on. I mean, he could write books on motorcycle training. So if you're not already familiar with MC Rider, go check him out. You'll be glad you did. Who else do I watch? Um, Goldwing Moments. My friend Larry lives up north. I watch him. Of course I watch Cruise Man. Chris Caliente. Every time he puts something out, I watch him. Very informative. Man is a walking mechanic for Honda Goldwings. Has everything he needs in his own garage and including the ability to change his own tires. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Who else? Uh, Moto Mengi lives up in Pennsylvania. Has a blue, I think, 2018 Honda Goldwing. Uh, he does some great rides up there. Does some uh, interesting roads, covered bridges. 
very entertaining guy I like to watch his channel Moto Mingi his name is Mingi that's where it comes from let's see who else I know there's others because I watch a ton oh the Missenden Flyer my friend across the pond oh he's got great videos he and his wife tour the most amazing locations most of the time on BMW GS's 1200s or 1250s I forget but they're doing tours through Portugal and Italy and oh my gosh a lot of fun to watch him and he owns a gold wing as well but he's also a pilot and does a few videos uh, flying his uh, little plane uh, it's just very cool I watch him GB winging it I think he's in New York the man used to own a gold wing, now owns a BMW, and likes to drive it fast on the freeways. Oh, makes me nervous just watching his videos. Uh, Rich, what is it? Rich the return rider that's it rich the return rider enjoy his videos too i forget where he's i think he's in florida i'm probably wrong there uh left motorcycle riding for a while and then came back to it hence the name return rider uh, anyway he has a good channel I like watching him uh who else Oh, my friend Mike. Uh, what's the name of his channel? Up in Vermont. He, he drives a crotch rocket. Great Christian guy. And boy, his, his enthusiasm. Oh, it's just so infectious and fun to watch. I don't remember his channel, but I'll put it at the top of the screen right now. And I'll list all of these in the uh, comments below in case you want to come back and find them later. You don't already follow some of them. And this has been very interesting at night. A little spooky. You have to be a lot more vigilant watching headlights, watching wheels. <clears throat> Make sure people see you. I don't have I don't have the headlight modulator <coughs> on the bike. I just have the tail light modulator. I know several folks have the headlight modulator. Um, I'm not sure it works at night. I don't know how it works to be honest with you. Everybody's moving to North Texas. I've lived here my whole life, folks, and that's just, let's say, a good number of decades. <laughs> and the traffic everywhere. Even though every highway I know of has been expanded to m twice as many lanes as it was when I was a kid. Everybody wants to move to North Texas. And I can't really blame them. Cost of living here is dirt cheap compared to some other places. But then again, in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, it, it's pretty high by our standards. Prices on houses have gone up. The house we live in, we've been there 23 years. Yeah, 23 years. Good gracious, where did that time go? 
and our house has easily tripled in value since we moved in all those years ago. Yet still very reasonable when you compare it to something like California. Anyway, so a lot of people want to move here. Beautiful crescent moon up there. I'm sure y'all can't see it. GoPro just makes everything way too small. It's going to be a short video tonight, folks. I just want, as I said, wanted to get out and see what this thing looked like at night. All the all the lights. And curious how the dashboard looked. If it has to be ridden at night. It's going to be okay. Still not a fan. I won't be doing this very much. But it's another first. <laughs> I stumbled across another first. Riding the Goldwing at night. And it's been pretty cool. I am super glad you guys came along for the ride. And thank you for following this channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's free of charge. And you just get to chill and watch videos. I appreciate the support. Leave a comment below. That helps the channel as well. And this channel is not monetized. I don't get anything for it. I do this for fun. I really enjoy it and I really enjoy the interaction with you guys uh, uh, the response the comments I, I respond to 100 because I'm still small it's no small channel I can still respond to 100% of the comments and I try to I think so far I've achieved that if you want to take the time to talk to me I'll be happy to talk to you so anyway, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. I'm going to go put this thing back in the corral and enjoy the rest of my evening. And I will talk to you again soon. And until then, ride safe, my friends, and God bless.